Gotta be honest, I never thought I'd get to this point in this channel. Two years. Two years! I've been uploading videos on this channel, and it's been a fun ride. And the ride is just gonna keep going. I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech channel. I'm Justin. If you didn't know already, I mean, if you're watching this two-year update on the Rebel Tech channel, you probably know who I am by now. But if you don't, hi, welcome, nice to meet you. And if this is your first Rebel Tech channel video, then I am very surprised and I'm very um, happy that it is. So let's talk about what I have planned for year three, technically. So the year that's been around, we had the inaugural year, the second year and now this is year three which new logo coming soon i'm hoping to get it out by the time this video is out i'm recording this like probably a month in advance probably a little less than a month but i'm hoping by the time this video is out a new logo is made because i try i want to have a new logo every year not too crazy of a change but subtle enough that people will notice it and hopefully merch associated with it year three the goal the main goal other than growth, for year three is to have merch. So let's get that going. Let's get that sometime in year three, get merch going. Get a merch store and things like that. I got friends that can build me a store and things like that. So we will see what happens with that. That's a goal. That's definitely a, uh, a resolution, I guess. But year three, what do I have planned? Well, new logo, that's obvious because expect a new logo every year. That's just my thing. And it's hard to say what exactly I will be putting out and how frequently I will be put them out, putting them out because I'm finished with my job in July. So July 4th is my last time, my last day, basically, with this job that I'm doing. And it's a great, been a great experience, great for the resume. So I'm hoping that it springboards me into a full-time gig or some other gig that gets me into this field. I love audio, I love video, and I just wanted to make my career associated with it. Now, of course, I am a realist, and I could be a bit pessimistic at times, but I am a realist, and I have a backup plan. I have my certificate and my certification in HVAC, work with working with refrigerants and things like that. So I could always go back to that. I did that for a little while, and then pandemic and things like that happened. But Thankfully, I was able to get back into this world, and thankfully, I was blessed enough to have family to support me through this tough time and uh, all that stuff. Basically, I know a lot of people have it worse off than me, and, and I'm very uh, fortunate to have people support me and uh, give me a place to live, roof over my head, and food to eat. And uh, I am appreciative, and I know the situation that I'm in, and it's not something that is common. Uh, but I don't take that for granted. I work very hard and I try to, uh, take advantage of the time that I have right now, uh, to make my dream come true of working in this field. So without getting too sappy, specifically, specifically, what is coming out this year? Uh, well, more directly or uh, more immediately, my comparisons to the Rode NT1. I found out that there's nothing wrong with my MT1. Uh, there was a little bit of a hiccup with it, but now it seems to be fine. Knock on wood. I'm very superstitious, if you don't know. But I also put out a video talking about sailing stuff. Uh, and you probably have noticed that I put up a bunch of knot tying videos f recently. And that definitely is something that I want to put out and expand on. So that's something that will be coming out in the future. Sailing related stuff, teaching sailing and doing like chalk talks about sailing related things, tacking, jibing, point to sail and all types of stuff like that. I'm not going to give you a bunch of words that make no sense to you. So hopefully you go check those out. And if you're interested in that, let me, let me know down in the comments if you're interested in sailing stuff. Uh, it's going to come out. So, Regardless if you're interested or not, uh, I'm putting it out, but 
just be nice. Don't be like, oh, don't put that stuff out. We don't interested. No, I mean, I'm I'm gonna put it out. So if you don't like it, uh, there will be a microphone comparison or some tech thing related that you will enjoy as well. So stuff for everyone. Trying to expand my uh, community and expand the knowledge that I want to spread. So keep an eye out for that and let me know if you're excited for it. Other things that are coming out. I want to get more into microphones in scenarios where they're not related to vocals, meaning instruments, Foley work. I want to get back into Foley work. I want to get back into field recording and things like that. Uh, I have two labs that I got to check out and not check out, uh, make reviews on. Uh, the ones that I've used professionally, the uh, AVX system by Sennheiser and the SWWS something. I can't remember the name of it, but they're two labs by Sennheiser that I want to try out. I want to review, compare them and all that stuff. So uh, that is a video that I'm going to put out. I'm also going to compare labs to boom arms, uh, boom mics, I should say. And the thing that I want to try, and this is a whole genre, post-processing, EQing, and one of the things that are associated with that, making a boom mic, actually making a lav sound like a boom mic or shotgun mic. I have a couple of videos that I've watched, and it's an interesting concept that I want to get out to you guys because it's a tough thing to, to do. It's not easy. Mic placement is the where it starts, but it's a lot to go into it. So that's on the horizon, post-processing, using all these microphones that I have and applying them uh, to other categories, other genres. So uh, compression, EQ, all stuff like that, setting it up for a stream, setting it up for YouTube videos, whatever it is. All this stuff is on the table. So if you're interested in anything like that, any post-processing stuff, comparing labs to boom arms, whatever it may be, let me know down in the comments. These comments certainly help. I write down all these ideas on my Google Keep. I have a whole section saying suggested videos by commenters or viewers or whatever it is. I don't remember what I named it, uh, but it's a whole tile based on that. And you guys are the reason for that one. And I do appreciate the suggestions and they definitely are put into the uh, big list of things that I have planned for this channel. And I am very excited to see where year three goes and see where this channel goes. Maybe one day we can make this a uh, career. We don't know. But as far as year three is concerned, I'm very excited to see where things go personally and with the channel. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life and hopefully get in year. The goal, their goal is place of my own. Steady gig, place my own, and eventually a dog. That will happen too. But I'm, I'm, I'm already way over my time that I wanted to record this video. And uh, thank you. Year two is over. We got monetized in year two. Very exciting. And I can't thank you guys enough. You guys have been incredible. You guys have been so supportive and so nice. We're well on our way. At probably by the time this video comes out, I think we'll probably be around 1,500 uh, subscribers. So that's awesome. And I'm looking to get it more and more every day. I, I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. And if you're excited too, please leave a like. Leave a like on this video. Get this out to more people. Spread the Rebel Tech channel to more people. And if you like my vibe around here and you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It's a fun community. Uh, the Discord is up as well if you're interested in like uh, doing more in-depth uh, like discussions and things like that. There's plenty of places on that Discord that we can discuss things privately or even in a full discussion, whatever it may be. Just follow the rules. Be nice. That's all. And the same thing applies for the comments. Be nice. Constructive discussions, not arguments. That's the main thing. And that's all I got for you. Until next time, take care, Rebels, and I will see you in the next video.